that make sense. And I want people to be educated instead of educated so that they have the option to have a life. Now, I grew up through the lens of two Holocaust survivors, and that influenced how I saw the world. The Holocaust didn't end in May 1945 in my family. It was fluid. It was part of my everyday life. And for that reason, I watched my parents speak at schools and tell people, you have to have a social conscious, because whatever they can do to Jewish people, they can do to other people. So I grew up being told that I had a social responsibility to everybody, no matter where in the world it was. And that guided me. Um, that guided my entire life, it guides me today. I was living with my mother, who, uh, when I was about to go to prison, um, when I was packing to go to prison, uh, she's about four foot nine, she shrunk. She was never that big, but she did shrink. And she's adorable, and she walked in with her walker. She walks her walker. And she had this very serious face, and she said to me, 